So in this video, I'm going to tell you about Google Collab, which is shortcut for Google Collaboratory. Uh, a link is going to appear right now, which is collab.research.google.com. Once you visit this link, you have to be signed in using your Gmail account. And once you do that, by default, you will have this screen. Now, this screen, which is showing you recent, is going to show you the recent file that you opened. And if you want a ready-made template or examples, you can just come here and open and just play with it. Or you can actually open the Jupyter Notebook, which are already stored in your Google Drive. Or you can add a path from GitHub and directly open that notebook. Or you can actually upload a notebook, which is you created using, let's say, Anaconda Jupyter Notebook and just click here and drag and drop or just choose the file so here i'm just going to click cancel and by default i will have this page and here you can see that i have table of contents i can just click here to just toggle it off or i can just click here and i can see the table of contents we have here getting started and here i can see that this cell is actually a text cell and this cell is a code cell which we have the play button here which is gonna tell me to run the cell here so here you have code cell and here you have text cell just like the name suggests if you want to write some information or heading or something like a label you can just click on text let me just come here and click on text and i will have a new text cell here i can write down here welcome and then shift enter and i will have welcome here i can just move it up i can move it down i can copy the link for this cell and just share it with my uh friends for example and then i can just edit the cell here or, or just double click i can make it bold italic if you guys can see that it's using the markdown i can just add format it as a code i can add image and all the stuff that we do in microsoft word you will find it here and you can see the preview here let's say I just remove the uh, italic and it's bold now shift enter and we'll do that trick and i can also copy it to drive i can just come here and rename the file here and i can just come file and i open a new notebook i can open an existing notebook i can actually upload a notebook that i previously worked on uh, local uh, anaconda jupyter notebook i can save it in my drive i can save it in my github uh, as a gist or i can just save it immediately to uh, github i can also the, the best thing here is i can download it as an ipynb ip which is interactive python and b notebook or i can just download it as a py which is the script python file what we basically use in PyCharm and VS Code. So I actually play with this notebook and I can just download it in IPYNB format. And later on, I can just go and open it using Anaconda. So that's the beauty of working with uh, Google Collab and it's free. There is an, another one, it's called Pro. Uh, here we can see that it's connect. Okay, I let me just show you something here. I have runtime here and I can change the runtime type. Here, it says hardware accelerator none. None basically means it's a regular CPU, but I click here, I will have a GPU, and I can just choose whatever the GPU I want, and I can use also a TPU. Now, CPU, central processing unit, which is the regular uh, processing unit we have in PC. We have GPU, which is graphical processing unit, which is much better and stronger than the CPU, and then we have TPU, which is tensor processing unit, which is way, way stronger than GPU. So if you're running heavy machine learning models with some images and videos that requires a ton of processing units, then you have to go to GPU and TPU. And as you guys can see that I'm going to have to up, uh, upgrade my Google Collab from free to a premium one, which means I'm going to have to pay. But for now, I'm going to just keep it none and cancel. Okay. Here I can just search for stuff here. Here I can see some variables if I have some variables. And here I can see the files, which is data set and stuff. Uh, let me just go file and new notebook.
So here I have a free notebook. I'm going to double click here and write it. Welcome to Jupyter Notebook. Enter. And here I have a cell. I'm going to make it. Uh, I can just come here. Uh, there is a, a way to change it to okay this is the font size the default and, and all that stuff this is the google collab pro which is ten dollars per month and so on but for editor i'm just going to make font size let's say 15 and save and i can actually change this yeah here right now it's code i can change to text i'm, I'm just going to come here and write um hashtag and hashtag welcome and here the hashtag in the cell which is means a comment in python but here i'll come here and make it text and then i'm gonna write uh, sorry press shift enter and it's still running it's taking some time because i'm still connecting here to the runtime which is python 3 google if you guys can see python 3 google compute engine backend which, which means uh, I'm still trying to connect to the Python kernel inside my Google Colab. That's why it's taking time because uh, I just wrote the code. And here, let me just show you. Yeah, here. So, fail to execute the cell, could not send the execute runtime. Okay. So, let me just wait for now it's connected. You guys can see now I have the blue, uh, green check mark. I can see the RAM and disk. Let me just uh, write print Jupyter Notebook. Shift Enter. And it's, yeah, it's working now. So now it's the code. And here I can just come here. And I change it to text. And you guys can see that the same cell I change it to text. Um, I can just create some variables here. Let's say let's create some variables shift enter and here i'm going to create x equal 5 y equal 10 print for me 5 sorry x plus y shift enter and i have 15 now here I can go and click on variables and once I clicked on the cell you guys can see that here I can see the name of the variable which is x and it's integer and y which is integer. So here I'm going to come here to 5.5 5, and I'm going to run the cell again and instead of pressing shift enter I can just come here to the play button and play and run now you guys can see that it's changed to float if i have list and vectors and stuff i it show me as a shape okay i can also filter here in my variables i want to know only the y so i'm going to get y and it's showing me integer and so on and here i can see the drive i can actually upload a data set and play with it and so on uh, i can also link the data set to a drive for example i can put some data sets in my drive and i just put the link of that folder and it will immediately fetch the data set and so on and here i can see that disk space is 82 gigabytes available right now for free now i'm not subscribed to any pro so this is what i'm getting as a free 12 gigabytes or 13 gigabytes of ram and 100 gigabytes of uh, disk space for basic stuff it's uh, more than enough if you need uh, a higher gpu and more ram then you have to pay just like i showed you for the google uh, pro version uh, why i'm showing you this because this is a, a replica for jupyter notebook from anaconda for some reason it didn't work out for you you can use google collab completely for free and according to the resources that you will get for free it's more than enough for this course okay i hope you like this video and i will see you in the next one